We track storms to alert you first. This is KIMT Storm Team 3, weather coverage you can count on. Chief Meteorologist Aaron White joins us once again. Our weather team has been busy this evening tracking storms. We had Storm Tracker out earlier. We saw yeah. that spurt of rain in Rochester here. Yeah, some pretty good rain, and I uh, just saw a flash of lightning there what? behind you. Some uh, pretty good storms uh, moving through uh, at least parts of the area right now. We have some storms around Austin moving to the south of Rochester here at the present time. But as we talk about rainfall totals, they were pretty decent here today. This is since midnight. We had a lot of us picking up around a half an inch. Mason City and Clear Lake, Clear Lake around uh, 0.42, so just under a half an inch. We had Rochester right at a half an inch of rainfall and some higher amounts around Dodge Center and Fairmont. So some good rainfall and we got some more rain as we look ahead to Thursday. Still tracking some showers and storms even here tonight as we look at the radar picture. Got some showers and storms here around Spring Grove up to Rushford. They are in Houston County into Fillmore County. Some showers and storms uh, right around Chatfield just between uh, Preston and Rochester and some more storms back to the west here right over Austin. Now moving towards the eastern side right along Interstate 90. This is not severe, but heavy downpours and a lot of lightning are expected. Most of North Iowa, we are looking OK at the present time. Things have really cleared out some activity around Decorah right now, but Mason Mason City, Clear Lake, Forest City, not expecting any more rain or storms here for tonight. A look at Austin right now, a couple of flashes of lightning there, 55 degrees. The wind is calm. As we look at downtown Rochester, we've also seen a couple of flashes of lightning there in the distance as we're tracking those showers and storms making their way through just to the south of downtown. 54 right now and temperatures will be dropping down into the upper 40s later on tonight. As we look ahead to Sky Tracker 3, showers and storms moving away from us. So by tomorrow morning, we're back to the sunshine. Looking at a pretty nice day overall here for tomorrow. We got sunshine through the morning hours. Start to see some clouds rolling in here for the afternoon, and that's going to be ahead of our next system that arrives here for tomorrow night. That's going to start to bring some showers in here by midnight tomorrow night. More rain as we look ahead to 7 a.m. here on your Thursday. So Thursday, remember this as you're heading out the door, grab that umbrella because we got showers and storms. We got heavy rainfall potential here for Thursday morning. More showers and storms possible into the afternoon. So likely not talk about severe weather, but more good rainfall is expected. And a lot of this is going to really help with the drought conditions. We've already seen improvement here over the last couple of weeks and going to see even more improvement as many of us could pick up an additional one inch of rainfall here through tonight and into our Thursday. So looking ahead to the seven day forecast with well, the weekend is always in view tomorrow. Things are OK. We got sunshine, some clouds in the afternoon, showers and storms here for your Thursday before we talk about more sunshine on Friday. But yet we got a couple more chances for rain here in the forecast Saturday and then Monday of next week. Otherwise, we got some more sunshine and temperatures. We got back to the 70s here for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday.